Hi, and welcome back to day five of the Field Bag Sew Along. In our previous video, we assembled the pocket and attached it to our bags. In today's lesson, we will be sewing up the body of the bag. You'll finally get to see your field bag taking shape, so let's dive in. The first step to assembling the body of the bag is we need to fold our corners. So we're basically just going to be folding all four corners over. So let's head over to the ironing board and I'll show you how to do that. So on the corner of your bag, you have a notch along the long side and then two notches along the short. We're going to fold along the first notch of the short side down to the notch on the long side and press. Then we're gonna fold over again along that second notch and that encloses the raw edge. So here you can see it's been folded over twice. Now we're gonna repeat this for all four corners. Now we're going to head over to our machine and we're going to stitch along this edge here to anchor the free folded edge in place. Here we are at the machine and again we're going to just be stitching right along here to anchor this in place. You can use an edge stitching foot if you want. I'm just going to use my regular foot. It, it's up to you. I'm going to do a small back tab. And then I just stitch right down into the corner. Last one. You don't necessarily need to back tack here because both of these ends are going to be sewn into something else. I just have mostly a very strong habit. but it's up to you. 
All right, now that our corners have been stitched down, it's time to sew the side seams of the bag. So you're gonna start by folding it with the wrong sides together. So we have the right side facing out. And this might look like, oh gosh, we're sewing our bags inside out. We're not, we're going to be French seaming that side. So the first step looks wrong. So just fold your bag so the two short sides meet. And we're gonna align the sides. So you can see here the two points meet and it's folded along this notch here. We have a notch at the halfway point. So we're just gonna pin that. And then the other side. Now we're gonna head over to our machine and we're gonna just sew right along these two edges. And again, we're gonna be using our 3 8 inch seam allowance that we've been using. So let's go do that now. Okay, so here we are at the machine and I'm going to start from this top edge, just align it with my 3 8 inch mark. And I'm gonna back tack that a tiny bit. I'm just going to sew down to the bottom. Clip your threads. And then move on to the other side. And this one I'm starting at the bottom because of how I have my pins in. You can start at either end, doesn't matter. And I'm stopping before I get to um, this area. You can see I could run off it, but we don't want to do that quite yet. Flip your threads, and then we'll head back over to the table. All right, so we now have our two side seams sewn. We're gonna to need to clip our corners. So all you do is you just clip a little triangle off. And you wanna get close to, but not too close to this end point. You don't want the stitching to not have any fabric to grab onto. So just clip. And here you can see what I mean about not getting too close. The next thing we're going to do is pre-press our top edge for the draw cord channel. It's easiest to do this step now before we have the bag sewn with the gussets because it's really flat. So let's head over to our ironing boards and do that now. All right, so we're gonna start by folding down a half an inch. If you have a seam gauge, this is a great place to use that. So I'm just starting with the edge that's on top here. And then for our next fold, it's going to be one and one eighth inches. So set your seam gauge. And 
<clears throat> Pardon me. All right, so that is really pressed in there. Now we're gonna do the other side. So flip your bag. And again, the first press is a half inch. So set your seam gauge. And for this next one, it's a little easier. You can use your seam gauge or you can just align it with the layer underneath. And press. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is press our seam allowances open. And it's gonna be a little difficult because you can slide this over your ironing board, but the ironing board isn't pointed, so it's gonna be hard to get into this corner. So I like to use uh, Taylor's board. It's like a point press here, and this is a clapper. So this will get into the corner, and I'll link these below. This is a really nice uh, made in America, solid wood board, super pointy. I really love this a lot. Um, <clears throat> pardon me. So all you'll do is you'll slide your bag over it and you can see how it just gets right into that point. It's so nice. And you'll just press this open. So let's go do that now. Okay, so here we are at the iron and you can see it just right to that edge. It's super nice. So you just take your iron press right along that. And there's no way you'd be able to get this super crisp point over your, the end of your machine. Uh, sorry, over the end of your ironing board. So that's why this point press is so useful. So now we'll do the other side. Slide it right on. And I do like to open the seam allowance with my fingers beforehand. Just ensures that I get a really nice press. Now that our seam allowances are pressed open, we need to grade them. And that just means we're gonna cut it in half because we're gonna be sewing another 3 8 inch seam allowance around to enclose that. And if this is 3 8 of an inch, we're not gonna catch all the raw edges. So let's take a small scissor. And all you do is just cut it in half, super easy. That's one side, <clears throat> and then we need to do the other.
All right, so both seam allowances are now graded. Now we're gonna flip our bags wrong side out. And I like to just kind of pop the corners through and then just flip. We are now going to need to press along this seam line. Okay, so we are here at our ironing board. We're gonna press right along this seam line and you're gonna make sure the seam falls right to the edge. You don't want it to go on one side or the other. Get that nice and flat. And we'll do the other side. Same thing, we want the seam right along that edge. And the fact that we pre-pressed it in the previous step makes this easier, so you don't wanna skimp on that step. So now what we're going to do is sew the final seam up the side. So that'll be at 3 eighths of an inch. And when you get to the top, you're not just going to sew right off because that will end up past the opening. And we need this open in order to um, easily be able to put things in and out of the bag. So, so first you're going to mark the top of your previous seam. Then you're going to mark a half inch up from there and then mark your 3 8 inch seam allowance. So we have this small box here. We're gonna curve from the top out to the seam allowance. And this will enclose this kind of gnarly little section here, but still leave this open so we can easily get things in and out of the bag. So I'm just gonna mark that on the other side. So again, here's my, where my seam stops. Here's a half inch. And here's a 3 8 inch seam allowance. And again, just curving that in. So we're gonna sew down around and then down along the 3 8 inch seam allowance. So I will now demo that for you on the machine. All right, so here we are. I'm going to start at the bottom. Again, we're using our 3 8 inch seam allowance. I am definitely going to back tack here. And then just stitch up the side. at our tiny little box. So I'm just gonna follow that line. And pivot over. I'm definitely gonna back tack here because this is a point of stress. Clip your threads. And here you can see, I just followed that line right over to make that curve. Now we're going to do the other side and this one I marked on the top. So I'm going to start at the curve. Get my back tack. Follow the curve down, and then I'm just going to straighten out. Okay. 
So our side seams are now sewn and we need to create that bottom gusset that lets the bag stand up. So to do that, you're gonna take your bag and I like to grab it right along these stitching lines at the bottom of each pocket and just pull it out. So here you can see the gusset, this triangle here, it just spans from one lower edge of the pocket to the other lower edge of the other pocket. And again, this is the part we haven't stitched down. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sew across here just to anchor the gusset, make sure it's not moving around while we complete these steps. So we're gonna sew a quarter inch away from this line here. So to secure this in place while I stitch, I just like to stick a pin through the entire thing here and then through here. And you could stick pins this way. I just find it awkward with all these layers here. So let's go over to our machine and we'll stitch that now. Now this is a perfect time to use your quarter inch foot. So this side of my foot is a quarter inch. This side is not just due to the um, way the feed dogs are set up. So I'm gonna turn mine this way and you'll just run this edge along the side of your foot. You don't really need to back tack this one, it's up to you. Okay, so for our next step, we're going to take this gusset flap and we're going to tuck it underneath the bottom of the pocket. So just tuck it under, like so, and then we're going to pin that in place. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our machine and we're gonna stitch right along this edge. And I use approximately an eighth inch seam allowance and that will secure the bottom gusset. And one reason we don't cut off this triangle is it adds extra support to help the bag stand up on its own. So you'll notice we'll be going through a lot of fabric here, especially if you're using one of the kits or a thicker fabric. So there are a few tricks that you can do to make that easier. The first one, you can take a hammer and you can just hammer along that. And what that does is it just kind of loosens up the fibers a little bit, um, makes everything nice and sharp, and your machine needle will go through there a little bit better. The second tip is at the machine, so I'll go show you that now. Okay, so I'm gonna start sewing right from that edge, and I am going to back tack. And just sewing right through, and here we are getting to the um, seam allowance where the uh, French seam is, so it's really thick. So if your machine won't go through that, what you can do is you can hand wheel and that'll kind of help your machine get through that point. I don't really have a problem on my machine. It has a very powerful motor, um, but just imagine it's having a hard time. <laughs> and then you can just keep going on the other side. threads and here you can see nice caught everything 
So now we need to repeat those steps for the other side. Here you can see how beautiful that um, gusset looks. Super crisp. Just looks really pretty. All right, other side. So again, get your point. There we have it. Again, I'm going to put a pin here and a pin here. Go to the machine and sew across there. Now again, quarter inch, so you can just align your quarter inch foot and sew across. And that seam doesn't need to be perfect. We're just anchoring the layers together for the next step. So don't worry too much about that. Now again, tuck it under. Make sure it's aligned. And this is the side where we didn't sew that shut. Um, so this is where it's getting sewn shut. There's just no reason to have seams on top of seams. Um, so that's why we're just showing, sewing it shut and sewing the gusset in one fell swoop. Do my pins. If you wanna hit it with a hammer, now's the time. Now the machine. And again, just align that. I do back tack here. threads. Okay, so we now have our gusset sewn and it looks very beautiful. That is it for today's lesson. In our next lesson, we will be assembling the top of the bag, putting our handle on and inserting our draw cords. Almost done. We're almost done. <laughs> you guys are so close to a finished bag. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and I'll get back to you. And if not, I will see you back here for our final lesson. Happy sewing and I'll see you next time. Bye.